Welcome to This Week in Salina, your look at what's happening in the City of Salina government. The City Commission meets on Monday, June 13th. The 2 p.m. study session will feature a presentation on the 2023 budget focusing on outside agencies and departmental operations requests. At the regular 4 p.m. meeting, commissioners will hold a public hearing on de-annexing a small portion of the city west of the relocated Dry Creek Channel. Also, commissioners will consider an ordinance on second reading correcting a property description for the Repco Expansion Property Tax Exemption and the second reading of an ordinance changing the zoning on land at the southwest corner of Magnolia Road and Highland Avenue. The commission will also consider authorizing the city manager to enter into an agreement for the renewal of the city's property casualty insurance and will consider a resolution authorizing staff to submit a 2022 Kansas Emergency Solutions Grant application. Other scheduled meetings this week include the Human Relations Commission, Tuesday, June 14th at 5.30 p.m., the Parks and Recreation Advisory Board, Wednesday, June 15th at 4 p.m., the Board of Zoning Appeals, Thursday, June 16th at 4 p.m., and the Building Advisory Board, Friday, June 17th at 3 p.m. Agendas will be available on the city's website, salina-ks.gov. You can watch all City of Salina meetings on Salina TV, Cox Cable Channel 20, online at salina-tv.com, on Facebook on the City of Salina page, and on YouTube on the City of Salina channel. Salina Arts and Humanities has announced that Sarah Keck is the new Arts Education Coordinator. Sarah most recently worked in Kansas City, Kansas, where she taught instrumental music and coordinated music festivals. In Salina, she will oversee all the musical entertainment at the Smoky Hill River Festival, as well as coordinate the Arts and Fusion program at the schools, and serve as the staff liaison for the Friday Night Live entertainment and activities. Welcome, Sarah. The Salina drive through Recycling Center accepts a wide variety of recyclable material. Simply drive into the building when a green light appears, park next to the packer truck, and remain in your vehicle while city staff removes your recyclables from your car. It's easy, safe, and convenient. Examples of accepted materials include aluminum and steel cans, cardboard, glass containers, magazines, junk mail, newspapers, and plastics one through seven. Materials not accepted include aluminum foil, batteries, bottle caps, hazardous waste, and styrofoam. The Salina drive through Recycling Center is open Wednesday through Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and is located at 125 West North Street. For more information, including a complete list of acceptable and non-acceptable items, please visit salina-ks.gov sdrc or call General Services at 785-309-5750. Just a reminder, the City Commission will not meet on Monday, June 20th due to the Juneteenth holiday. City of Salina offices will be closed on June 20th and will reopen on Tuesday, June 21st. This week in Salina will be back in two weeks with more news and events from the City of Salina. Thanks for watching This Week in Salina. Have a great week!